Welcome to Stories Behind the Objects, where we take a close-up look at the history behind Museum of the Rockies artifacts in five minutes or less. One of the more unexpected treasures in the museum's collection is probably this 1961 Emmy Award, given to the Huntley-Brinkley Report for Outstanding Program Achievement in the Field of News. The Huntley-Brinkley Report aired on NBC for 14 years, co-anchored by Chet Huntley and David Brinkley. The newscast would win eight Emmy Awards over its 14-year run. But before he was a famous, award-winning news personality, Chet Huntley was a small-town Montana boy with no dreams of stardom. Chester Huntley was born in 1911 in Cardwell, Montana. His father was a telegraph operator for the Northern Pacific Railroad, and Chet was born in the Cardwell Depot living quarters. The Huntleys moved around frequently when Chet was growing up. His father left the railroad and the family homesteaded in Seiko, Montana. Then his father returned to the railroad and the family moved around southwest Montana to Willow Creek, Logan, Big Timber, Norris, Whitehall, and Three Forks. After graduating from Three Forks High School, Chet attended several years of college at Montana State College, where he was heavily involved in extracurricular activities. He worked on the college newspaper, acted in school theater productions, participated in forensics as a part of Pi Kappa Delta, where he ranked highly in national competition. He was a member of the Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity, competed in oratorical contests, and participated in other organizations such as Student Senate. Here you're seeing yearbook photos of Chet from the 1932 Montanan yearbook. Originally, Chet had planned to become a doctor, but recognition of his skills in acting and oratory changed the course his life would take when he won a scholarship to the Cornish College of Arts in Seattle. He eventually would graduate from the University of Washington with a degree in speech and drama. After graduating, Chet's career began as a radio newscaster. From 1934 to 1955, Chet worked at a variety of stations around the country, including Los Angeles, California, and Portland, Oregon. He eventually came to work at NBC as a commentator for the Today Show. It only took him half a year to show his immense potential, and he was transferred to New York City with the promise of heading a news program. In 1956, that promise came true when Chet was selected to co-anchor NBC's evening news program with David Brinkley. Titled The Huntley-Brinkley Report, the newscast would air for 14 years. Huntley would broadcast from New York City, while Brinkley would report from Washington, D.C. The program was one of the most highly rated news programs, and its anchors were immensely popular, with some surveys showing Huntley and Brinkley being more well-known than John Wayne, Cary Grant, and the Beatles. At the close of each program, Chet and David would sign off with the following exchange. Good night, Chet. Good night, David. And good night for NBC News. This became one of the most famous catchphrases in television. The program won multiple Emmy Awards, including Best News Reporting Series in 1959 and Outstanding Program Achievement in the Field of News in 1960, 61, 62, and 64. With Huntley's retirement, the program ended on July 31, 1970. During the final broadcast, these were some of his last words to the audience. Be patient and have courage, for there will be better and happier news one day if we work at it. Chet would retire back to his home state of Montana, where he would go on to found a ski resort. You may have heard of it. It's a little place called Big Sky Resort. The resort would open in December of 1973. Chet, suffering from lung cancer, would live just long enough to see the first months of operation before passing away in March of 1974 at the age of 62. Chet's wife, Tippy would go on to donate several of his effects to the museum, including a typewriter, diploma, photographs, one of his Emmy Awards, and other objects all of which helped the museum tell the story of a Montana man who made an impact both locally and across the country. And with that, good night, Chet, and good night for Museum of the Rockies.